first of all, I'd like to thank Elena for your kind invitation, and I'm happy to have a chance to provide these results, uh, to demonstrate these results to you. And um, okay, uh, during this talk, all the groups are fined, and all the graphs are undirected uh, graphs without loops and multiply edges, and reminds that n click is a graph with n vertices and no edges, and n click is a graph with n vertices and all the edges between every pair of different vertices. And what's the main idea of our research? Uh, the idea is to find some good uh, characterizations of fine groups which can be applied to real life, for example. And of course, any group can be considered as a permutation group. And of course, uh, any group can be considered as uh, orthomorphism group of some object, object, for example, of some set. And OK, go to the object and assume that we have a situation that we want to uh, research some object. And we want to use orthomorphism group to research each object. Uh, unfortunately, the orthomorphism group hasn't been given to us. We just have object, uh, for example, in our hands, for example, it's some solid and a solid crystal, we can rotate, we can look, um, and we don't know the orthomorphism group and want to understand what is it. But uh, looking to the object, uh, for example, we can find some arithmetical parameters of uh, this orthomorphism group. Uh, and if we have find some arithmetical parameters, we can try to understand do these arithmetical parameters um, define uh, orthomorphism group uh, uniquely up to isomorphism? If yes, uh, then okay, we are lucky, and then we can apply the knowledge about orthomorphism group of the object to research of object. If no possible, we need to add some more parameters or consider some another arithmetical parameters. And here we have two. Uh, interesting points. And first of point is what are good arithmetical parameters? What are uh, excellent arithmetical parameters? I think that the good arithmetical parameters are such that we can easily find them and they give uh, good information about the orthomorphism group of the object. Possible we don't want, uh, second point is that possible we don't want to understand uh, about uh, to determine uniquely the orthomorphism group, but possible we need just some information about its group theoretical structure and about some its properties of action and so on. And from this point of view, let us look to some um, families of arithmetical parameters of fine groups and discuss what can we do here. Let's uh, Omega be a set of positive integers. Uh, define the prime spectrum of omega to be the set of all prime divisors of integers for omega. Uh, and let us consider an example. Omega is uh, 2, 15, 21, and 35, and its prime spectrum P omega uh, is 2, 3, 5, 7. Uh, and a graph gamma omega, whose vertex set is the prime spectrum of omega, and two distant vertices are adjacent in this graph, if and only if its product divides some element from omega, is called a prime graph of, of omega. And uh, we can consider this whole an example, the same set omega, and its prime graph is the union of two clicks, one consists of from the only vertex two, and another consists of three vertices, three, five, and seven. And how can they apply this construction to groups? Consider a find group. The spectrum of this group is the set of all its element orders. Of course, if group is a fine, is if a group is fine, then its spectrum is a fine set of uh, integers. And the prime spectrum is a set of all primes from the spectrum of G, or equivalently, the set of all prime devices of the order of G, or equivalently, the set of all prime.
prime devices from the L of from of elements from omega of G. And the Grunberg cake graph or the prime graph or um, following Peter Cameron GK graph. Uh, let us give a definition a graph whose vertex set uh, is the prime spectrum of some group G and two distinct vertices are adjacent in this graph, if and only if their product belongs to the spectrum of this group, is called the Grunberg Kegel graph. Uh, usually we will refer to this graph uh, like to GK graph just for brevity. Or oh, it's clear that Grunberg Kegel graph is exactly prime graph built by a spectrum of group. And here we have a good exercise. If we take two primes, P and Q, then their product belongs to the spectrum of defined group G if and only if there are two elements of G of orders P and Q respectively, which commute. So uh, looking to this exercise, we can understand that grunberg kegel graph is not too hard to calculate if we have some object and want to calculate the grunberg kegel graph of its orthomorphism group. It's enough to consider the prime um, order of morphisms and understand uh, what of them commute and what of them do not commute. And uh, with respect to these parameters, let us consider to so-called address book of fine group. Assume that we live in a magic galaxy, the citizens are fine groups and the addresses are some of the arithmetical parameters. And then assume that a fine group is a person, its spectrum it's, is the number of its room in the flat. And its grunberg kegel graph is uh, it's defined by its flat and prime spectrum plus isomorphism type of its grunberg kegel graph, its floor, and isomorphism type of its grunberg kegel graph, it's, its house. So they can a complete address book. And of course, if they know a person, they can look through its passport and understand its complete address. And unfortunately, if we know just some uh, items in address, uh, then cannot uniquely determine in a common case, the person who lives here. And here they have a common problem if G is a group, uh, then G is uniquely determined by some of its arithmetical parameters. Uh, let us look to some examples. Uh, first of all, there are two non-isomorphic groups having the same spectrum. Uh, you can see symmetry groups on five and on six points. And of course, uh, from this, we have uh, conclusion that there are persons, distinct persons sharing a room. And uh, consider another example, alternative groups on five points and on six points. Uh, they have distinct spectra, but sharing the grunberg kegel graph. So there are some persons living in distinct rooms in the same flat. At the same time, it's the result by Wudishi, uh, more than uh, 35 years ago that the alternating group on five points is uniquely determined by its spectrum. So this uh, group has its own, its own room. At the same time, the alternating group on six points shares its room with infinitely many neighbors. So another example, if we consider the alternating group on six points, on 10 points and the orthomorphism group of the second Yanka group, then the grunberg kegel graph have same isomorphism types and these groups have same prime spectra. However, the grunberg kegel graphs are not isomorphic as uh, labeled graphs. And another uh, example is we can see and what does it mean? It means that there are some persons living in distinct flats, but sharing a floor. 
And another example is uh, if you consider a cyclic group or whose uh, order is divisible exactly to five virus distinct primes, then it's grunberg egge graph is as follows. So there are some persons living in distinct floors, but sharing a house. And what's about some other results? Uh, me and Dushan Pagon uh, some years ago have uh, proved that uh, there is no affine group G such that its Greenberg Kelly graph is isomorphic to a complete bipartite graph with parts free and free. So there are empty houses. And at the same time, me and uh, my co author, Sasha Gavriluk, uh, who was a participant of this uh, seminar for many times, and Igor Hromtsov and my supervisor in past, Anatoly Kondratyev, they have proved that if we take a graph of on at most five vertices, and if this graph is not a five click, then there is a group such that its Grunberg-Kegel graph is isomorphic to our given graph. So all small houses, almost all small houses are not empty. And uh, usual conclusions, small houses are very popular. Uh, and let us give some definitions. Uh, we say that a fine group is recognizable by its spectrum or respectively by its Greenberg graph if it's uniquely determined up to isomorphism with its spectrum or respectively with its Greenberg graph. Is K recognizable by its spectrum or respectively by Greenberg Kegel graph if there are exactly K pairwise non isomorphic groups with this spectrum? or respectively with Grunberg-Kegel graph, almost recognizable if it's K recognizable by some K. Uh, it means that the number of groups with the same spectrum as given group or respectively with the same Grunberg-Kegel graph as Grunberg-Kegel graph is fine. And the group is unrecognizable by spectrum or by grunberg kegel graph respectively if there are infinitely many pairwise non-isomorphic groups with the same spectrum or with the same grunberg kegel graph respectively as our group. So uh, any fine group is either almost recognizable or unrecognizable by spectrum and is either almost recognizable or unrecognizable by its grunberg kegel graph. Of course, if some group is recognizable by Grunberg Kegel graph or almost recognizable by Grunberg Kegel graph, it's forced to be recognizable or almost recognizable by spectrum, since spectrum determines Grunberg Kegel graph uniquely. However, uh, converse doesn't hold. And what we, can we tell about this? Uh, reminds that uh, there is a criteria of unrecognizability of a fine group by its spectrum. This criterion was proved more than 10 years ago by Viktor Danilovich Mazarov and Fuji uh, If a fine group, if G is a fine group, then G is unrecognizable by its spectrum if and only if there is a fine group with the same spectrum and non-trivial solvable radical. So uh, the question of uh, recognizability of a fine group by its spectrum was uh, reduced to considering of fine groups with trivial solvable radicals. And what can we tell about results? Uh, one of the most great results is that almost all fine simple groups are almost recognizable by their spectrum. This is a result by a very big group of authors from Russia, from China, for, from Iran, from uh, Australia, and so on. Uh, and uh, one of more inclu more active researchers were Viktor Danilovich Mazurov, Udo Shi, Andrei Viktorovich Vasilyev, Maria Alexandrovna Gricikaseva, Ilya Borisovich-Gorshkov, Alexey Mikhailovich Starletov, Anatoly Semyonovich Kondratyev, Mariana Rifatovna Zinoviyeva. Uh, and uh, some other very famous result is that by, this, is, this result belongs to a big group of authors, but the final step was given by Andrei Vasilyev, Maria Grichkoseyev and Viktor Mazurov more than uh, 10 years ago. And they have proved that uh, 
any fine simple group is uniquely determined by its spectrum and its order. And what's about our results? There are examples of almost simple but not simple groups which are recognizable by spectrum. And there are some results about recognizability by spectrum of groups with non-simple circle. The first uh, example was by Viktor Danilovich Mazarov 25 years ago. And recently me and Ilya Gashkov has proved uh, one more example. And then Ilya has constructed an example of three. Uh, of direct products of three copies of fine simple group, which is recognizable by spectrum. And as I know, uh, there is a recent result by Andrei Vasilyev, Ilya Gorshkov, Alexei Staroletov, and possible Young. Uh, they proved that for any constant, there is a direct product of this number of fine simple groups, is, which is recognizable by spectrum. But this is not more my result, and I will not tell more details here. Um, and what's about recognizability by Greenberg Kelly graph? Uh, recently, me and Peter Cameron have uh, proved a similar criterion of unrecognizability of fine group by it's Greenberg Kelly graph. They have proved that if G is a fine group, then the following statements are apparent. There are infinitely many groups H with the same group S, uh, with the same Greenberg Kelly graphs as our group. And there is a group H with non trivial solvable radical and same Greenberg Kelly graph as our group has. So uh, the criterion is uh, absolutely is similar. But our proof is a little bit distinct from proof of Viktor Mazurov and Vodishi. We have our own techniques. And a corollary of this theorem is, is that if G is a find almost find group, which is almost recognizable then by its Greenberg Kelly graph, then this group is almost simple. Any group with the same Greenberg Kelly graph is almost simple. Any vertex uh, is non adjacent to some another vertex in the Greenberg Kelly graph. In particular, two is non adjacent to at least one odd vertex in the Greenberg Kelly graph. And the Greenberg Kelly graph of our, this group contains uh, at least one uh, in dust free click and at least one. Uh, set of from three vertices which are pi was non-adjacent in the Greenberg Kelly graph of this group. Uh, what is the main idea? The main idea is that uh, a find simple a find group is almost recognizable by its Greenberg Kelly graph if and only if any find group with the same Greenberg Kelly graph as our group is almost simple. Uh, what do we have here? We have here that the question of recognizability of fine group by its Greenberg Kegel graph uh, reduces to the case of almost simple groups. And of course, the following problem nat naturally arises. Uh, if G is an almost simple group, decide whenever it is recognizable, K recognizable for some integer k greater than one or unrecognizable by its green particular graph. And here we have some more interesting results. Take some graph and tell that this graph is labeled graph if its vertices are labeled by pairwise uh, distinct primes. And uh, me and Peter Cameron uh, have proved uh, that there is a polynomial function. We have constructed the function uh, of degree at most seven, such as that for each labeled graph, the following statements are equivalent. There are infinitely many groups H with the same Greenberg Kegel graph as our labeled graph. And there exist more than the value of our function from the number of vertices of the graph groups H such that the Greenberg Kegel graphs coincides with our labeled graph. And there is a problem to improve this bound. 
Uh, recently, Andrei Vasilyev and Maria Grichkasieva have improved uh, this bound up to polynomial function of degree at most five. And there is a result by Andrei Zavarnitsyn that the degree of this function cannot be zero. And I will be very happy if somebody join our project uh, to improve, to find exact bound here. Uh, what's the main idea of this result? This is that, uh, of course, assume um, that groups living in a flat and some person, policeman, for example, wants to understand is the number of persons in this flat fine to an infinite. Uh, the policeman looks to the door and can find a picture of a Gruber Kegel graph uh, which these groups share. And then the policeman invites uh, persons to weigh out from uh, this flat and counts one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And what does it mean that there is such fun? This means that so in some moment, the policeman can tell, stop. There are infinitely many persons in this flat. Retur Please return back. Uh, so uh, what's about some more exact cases, more partial cases? Uh, Andrei Vasilyev have conjectured that if G and uh, there are no more than four fine simple groups with pivots coinciding in Grunberg Kegel graphs, uh, our result was for almost simple group, but if we consider two fine simple groups, there are no more than four cases of fine simple groups with pairwise coinciding Grunberg graphs. And this conjecture was investigated. Uh, if one of groups is predict, then it's the result by Mina Hagi uh, around 20 years ago. And if one of group is alternating, then it's, this result is by Maria Zvezdina around 10 years ago. And the Coincidence cases of Grunberg Kegel graphs for groups of the type in the same characteristic. Uh, this result is by Mariana Zinovieva uh, some years ago. And the coincidence of Grunberg Kegel graphs of uh, fine simple groups of the type in different characteristics. This is research by Mariana Zinovieva, and this research is still in progress. I will refer to this moment, uh, and please remember here. And let us think about recognizability by Grunberg Kegel graphs of some almost simple and, in particular, fine simple groups. Uh, around, 10, uh, around 20 years ago, Viktor Daniel Chmazarov uh, have conjectured that if G is an all is a fine simple group, which is not isomorphic to the alternating group of on six points, and its Grunberg Kegel graph has at least three connected components then G is uniquely determined by spectrum, is recognizable by spectrum. This conjecture became a theorem. It's again, uh, many authors and the final step was given by Anatoly Kondratyev uh, seven years ago. And here is um, the following question. What's about recognizability of uh, these groups by Grunberg Kegel graph? Possible, uh, it's enough to consider the Grunberg Kegel graphs. And what can they tell here? Find simple groups, uh, the disconnected Grunberg Kegel graphs are known. These are results by Williams and Kondratyev. Uh, around 30 years ago, this is old, and uh, res these results are old and checked for many times. And um, group, find simple groups with at least three connected components of the Grunberg Kegel graphs are either sporadic, uh, 17 sporadic groups from, from 26 has at least three connected components of the Grunberg Kegel graphs, or PSL to Q, well-known fine simple groups, or exceptional groups of lead type G2 or twice G2. Here, G2 uh, for over fields of characteristic free, or well-known Suzuki groups, or F4Q, the Q is even or twice, um, twisted F4Q, or, or a series of orthogonal groups over fields of order free, or a series of exceptional groups of lead type 
E8 or alternating groups of prime degree such that N minus two is also a prime or some sporadic find, uh, sporadic cases or find simple groups of Lie type, not sporadic groups, but sporadic cases uh, of uh, find simple groups of Lie type. And what can we tell about the recognizability by grunberg kegel graph? The question of recognizability by grunberg kegel graph has been um, solved for all fine simple spread groups, including our 17 cases. This is a serious result by Mina Hagi, Andrei Vitalich Zavarnitsa, Anatoly Semenovich Kondratyev, and the final step has been done by Melissa Lee and Thomas Popiel from New Zealand. And these sporadic cases of groups of the type have been ruled out by Anatoly Kondratyev and his PhD student in past, Igor Hromtsov. And if you consider groups PSL to Q, then except the, of cases, then Q is even greater than H or is prime such that it's greater than 11 and equals to one modular 12. Uh, these groups, uh, the recognition questions for this group has been solved. They are almost recognizable. And in this case, they are known to be quasi-recognizable. What's a quasi-recognizable group? I find simple group is quasi recognizable by its Grunberg Kegel graph is if any group with the same Grunberg Kegel graph as our group has a unique non abelian composition factor, which coincides with the question of quasi recognizability by Grunberg Kegel graph can be considered only for fine simple groups. And if in these cases, in other cases, these groups are known to be quasi recognizable by Greenberg KD graph. And uh, this, the series of orthogonal groups is known to be recognizable by Greenberg KD graph. And G twice uh, two of Q is recognizable by Greenberg KD graph. It's a very bright result by Andrei Zavarnitsyn. Possible it was the first infinite series of fine simple groups, which were known to be recognizable by Greenberg KD graph. And for groups G to Q, the Q is a power of three, or twice P to Q. These groups are quasi recognizable by Greenberg KD graph, but the case of G to Q, needs a revision since we have find a small mistake in this case but uh, i believe that uh, this is just a small mistake and this is not global and twice for q q is a power of two graph and what's about ehq this case was ruled out partially around 10 years ago. And uh, he has considered this case that then Q equals to zero, one, or minus one modulo five. This is case, then the Gruber graph of this group has exactly five connected components. And the groups. Alternating groups were considered by Hasravi uh, and by Staraletov and by Staraletov and Gorshkov. Uh, and these groups are known to be quite recognizable by Grunberg Kegel graph. Uh, I will tell about conjectures later. And what's about uh, results? First of all, uh, we were able to generalize the results by Andrei Zavarnitsyn. Me and Victor Panshin and, and Alexey Staraletov have recently proved that if L is EHQ, the Q equals to plus minus two modulo, modulo five. And if G is a group such that its Grunberg Kegel graph coincides with the Grunberg Kegel graph of L, then G is forced to be. Isomorphic to sub equals again to plus minus two modulo five. Uh, what do we have here? Here we have two wonderful corollaries. For, first of all, from this result and from result by Andrei Zavarnitsyn for EHQ, the Q is equals to zero plus minus one modulo five. And from our recent result with Twitter Cameron, we can um, 
reduce the corollary that the groups EHQ are almost recognizable by the Grunberg Hegel graphs. And another wonderful corollary is that if we take a fine group whose Grunberg Hegel graph equals to Grunberg Hegel graph of some EHQ and whose order is equals to order of some of this EHQ, then this group is forced to be isomorphic to EHQ. So this group is uniquely determined by its Grunberg Hegel graph and order. And let us uh, tell about a few words about uh, the proof of theorem four, our recent result. First of all, uh, they use Grunberg Kegel theorem. What is a Grunberg Kegel theorem? It's description of all finite groups with disconnected Grunberg Kegel graph. And Grunberg and Kegel uh, proved that if G is a group with disconnecting Grunberg Kegel graph, then either G is a Frobenius, very well known construction of Frobenius group, or it's a two Frobenius group. This, this group consists of series of two Frobenius groups. This group is known to be solvable. Or uh, G is an extension of some nilipotent group by some almost simple group. And in these cases, the number of connected components of a Grunberg Kegel graph of the circle of this simple group is greater or equal than the number of com connected components of Grunberg Kegel graphs of proved by Grunberg and Kegel, but uh, this manuscript had never been published. And Williams, who was a student in past by Grunberg, published this result in his own paper. And what can they use uh, again with this result? There is a description of cases of coincide of Grunberg Kegel and almost simple groups and uh, Frobenius groups uh, or two Frobenius groups. Uh, and for EHQ, uh, for us, it's enough to use result by Mariana Zinoviova and Viktor Mazov. We, they, they have described the cases of coincides of Grunberg Kegel graphs of fine simple groups and Frobenius groups or two Frobenius groups. However, let me tell a few words about another result, but not simple, and another is solvable for Benio's group or two for Benio's group. This result is ruled out in two papers. Uh, this result follows from main results of two papers by me and Ilya Gorshkov and by Mariana Zinoviova and Anatoly Kondratyev. And now me and Kristina Ilyenka, my PhD student, uh, finishing the description of all the cases of coincidences of Grunberg graphs of almost simple groups and non soluble Frobenius groups. And what's about Grunberg graphs of EHQ? Uh, this results, uh, these graphs look like that. Uh, consider Ri of Q is the set of primes R which divides Q power I minus one but don't divide q power j minus one for each j less than i. And uh, it's known, it's known criteria of adjacency in the Grunberg-Kegel graphs uh, of fine simple groups uh, obtained by Vdovin and Vasiliev more than 10 years ago. Uh, and the adjacency depends only to the to sets to which belong primes. Uh, and now there is uh, one interesting feature. If Q equals to zero or plus minus one modular five, then five belong to R1 or R2 or P or coincides with the characteristic P. And there is no each between R primes for, from R20 and five. And if five, if q equals to plus minus one to r four, and there are no all the edges between 
Afro. Oh, and at 20. But there are oh, and all the vertices tell something about group theoretical scheme of the proof. Uh, this proof uh, is more combinatorial than really group theoretical since uh, they use more graph theoretical properties of uh, Grunberg-Kegel graphs uh, than uh, group theoretical properties in some, way, uh, is some sense. And this is really amazing of, for such research. If we take L to be EHQ, the Q equals to plus minus two modular five. If we take G to be a fine group with the same Grunberg Kegel graph SL, then we apply Grunberg Kegel theorem and we can and the proof that G is neither a Frobenius group nor a two Frobenius group using our the previous results. And then the structure of G is the following some nilpotent group K, some simple group S, and some group of outer orthomorphisms of S possible. The standard scheme is here is to prove quasi-recognizability by grunberg kegel graph is that H S equals to L, and then uh, delete K, and then try to delete A. But now we will decline the second step. Uh, we will consider the case that uh, there we should delete K immediately. And first of all, uh, we can uh, make some restrictions to possibilities of S. We prove that S is either one of two uh, sp well-known sporadic simple groups or S is EHQ, U for some U. And then we exclude these fine simple sporadic groups using some group theoretical properties. And I don't discuss this here. And then we consider two cases. If U equals to, again, to plus minus two modular five, then the proof that there are some edges between R24 and any vertex from here or some vertices from here. So there are no more than three connected components. And in this case, K forced to be equal to one. And another, uh, we use some result by Andrei Zavarnitsyn. Uh, I don't discuss more details here since these are group theoretical. And in the case, then u equals to zero or plus minus one modular five. What can we do here? Uh, first of all, we using this, the same result by Andrei Zavarnitsyn, we can prove that R24 of u belongs to the first connected component of the grunberg kegel graph of G. And then we can find the representation of Mm, the first connected component of the grunberg kegel graph of G and no look to the grunberg kegel graph of G and understand from uh, some group theoretical reasonings that the price from these three component, these three subsets are adjacent to two in the grunberg kegel graph of G. And then we conclude that uh, there are some vertices which are adjacent just to five in the grunberg kegel graph of G, but not adjacent to uh, two. These are vertices from R20 of Q. And then they forced to contain, contain in this, just exactly in this subset. And then if we take some other prime divisor of the nilpotent radical of G, then this prime divisor is forced to be adjacent to R24 of Q. And since these are the only five, we conclude that K is just a five group, uh, just a group whose order is divisible only to five. And then, uh, we take any element from R20 of Q, 
which is a subset of R24 of U, we prove that this M uh, doesn't divide the order of K and the order of L. And then the vertices are adjacent. To, uh, the adjacency of this vertex belongs more on adjacency on S than on this. Uh, but and then we can take M, put to a maximal click. This click exists and has order 12. This is a corollary of adjacency criterion. And then we can find this click such that its elements don't divide again the order of K and the order of A. And then this the adjacency of these vertices does uh, does not depend on uh, adjacency in K and L and A, and then these vertices are not adjacent in the green Kegel graph of G, pairwise non I non adjacent in the green Kegel graph of G. So they again form a click in the green Kegel graph of G. And this click is forced to have exa exactly 12 vertices. And since maximal clicks in Greenberg Kelly graphs of fine simple groups are known, this forced to be a maximal click. And then we look directly to the adjacency criterion uh, in the Greenberg Kelly graph of G and in the Greenberg Kelly graph of S. If you look to the in adjacency criteria of Greenberg Kelly graph of G, then First of all, we find that five belongs to R4 of Q. And uh, from adjacency criterion in the Greenberg Kegel graph of G, five is forced to be non adjacent to at least seven primes from this click theta. And if you look to the adjacency criterion uh, in the Greenberg Kegel graph of S, then five belongs to R1 union R2 of U. And um, from the adjacency criterion, five is adjacent to at least nine primes for norm theta. Five is non-adjacent to at least seven primes, is adjacent to at least nine primes, and the power of Kaklik is 12. This is a contradiction. So we have proved that uh, any group EHQ is uniquely determined by its Greenberg Kelly graph and its order. And each such group is almost recognizable even by its Greenberg Kelly graph. And what's about some other uh, fine simple groups with disconnected Greenberg Kelly graphs? For groups F4Q, G2Q, there Q is either even in the first case or is a power of three in the second case or to for groups f for q twice we have proved that these groups are so called recognizable between covers and from this result it follows that all these groups are almost recognizable by greenberg kegel graph and by for suzuki group we have constructed an example of fine group with non trivial soluble radical whose Grunberg Kegel graphs coincide with Grunberg Kegel graph of this group. So these groups are non recognizable, unrecognizable by Grunberg Kegel graph. And what about other find groups, find simple groups with at least three connected components of the Grunberg Kegel graphs? For alternating groups, there is a conjecture by Alexei Staraleta that for rather big degrees, these groups are recognizable by Greenberg Kegel graph, reminds that uh, these groups are quasi recognizable by Greenberg Kegel graph. And uh, there is a question for groups PSL to Q, are they recognizable by Greenberg Kegel graph? If Q is even and greater than H, or Q is a, an odd prime, which is greater than 11 uh, and equals to one modulo 12. And what's about uh, some more words about uh, our theorem on recognizable, almost recognizability of EH, 
Q by its Grimberg Kettle graph. They have proved that these groups are almost recognizable by Grimberg Kettle graph, but they haven't proved that they are quasi recognizable. So, the a very important case here is to consider the case of coincidence of Greenberg graphs of two groups of type EHU. Uh, reminds that this is research by Mariana Zinoviva. I have discussed this here, and this is one of the most hard cases uh, than she, uh, she considers coincidence of Greenberg graphs of exceptional groups of Lie type. But I hope that uh, she will solve this question. And my conjecture is that all these groups are exactly recognizable by the Greenberg telegraphs, since there are um, still not examples of cases of coincidence of Greenberg telegraphs of two groups EHQ1 and EHQ2. And we have some another results on. Uh, characterization by grunberg kelly graph of fine simple groups with disconnected grunberg kelly graphs. Uh, they considered uh, a well-known series um, E62 and twice E62. For small uh, orders of fields, these results were known. Uh, then the field has order two for E62. It was a separate paper by Antoli Kondratiev. If uh, for group E62, it was a paper by me, Antoli Kondratiev and Vin Bingo. Uh, two groups, E63 and twice E63, me and uh, two participants of great mathematical workshop, uh, which was organized by Mathematical Center in Academic Garadok uh, last year. And uh, my co chair of our project, Alexei Staroletov, they considered these groups in a separate paper uh, during great mathematical workshop, and we have proved that these groups are recognizable by greenberg kegel graph. And our recent result with uh, Victor Panchin and Alexei Staroletov that if L is uh, a group which is ESXQ or twice ESXQ for some Q, uh, and if we take a group G, uh, whose grunberg kegel graphs coincide with the grunberg kegel graph of our group L, when L is between, when G is between L and its orthomorphism group, is, uh, it means that it's almost simple with circle L. And in particular, these groups are almost recognizable by the grunberg kegel graph. And we have some more results, but I think it's a good point to stop here. Uh, here there are some references, our recent um, paper with Peter Cameron, which was uh, some basic result for uh, progress in this direction of research and data of uh, Panchin and Hramova about characterization of E6Q and the, a very important paper about uh, recognizability by Greenberg graph of uh, fine, some fine simple sporadic. Uh, Maria Grichkoseva and Andrei Vasiliev, they considered uh, fine simple groups um, the unique uh, find groups with unique non abelian composition factors and the properties of their prime graphs, uh, Greenberg Kelly graphs. Uh, the result which I referred was not main result of this paper, but it was a very nice corollary of the main results. And I strongly recommend to look to this paper. And I think uh, it's all. Thank you for your. Okay, thank you, Natalia. Thank you very much for giving us uh, new results and showing us uh, uh, how much is the progress in these directions. Thank you. Are there any questions to Natalia? Well, I have one question. Um, yeah, sure, please. 
I'm very puzzled by this. You've given us a fantastic talk. You've covered a lot of material, your own material and results and conjectures of many other people. But it all grows out of a completely different problem. And that was Carl Grunberg and Otto Kegel studying the augmentation ideal of the group ring of a finite group. So has all of this work got any applications to augmentation ideals and group rings or, or is that connection completely finished now and, and there is no, no uh, interest in that connection? As I know that they have put that uh, augmentation ideal, mm, uh, their results were uh, reduced to consider of Greenberg Kegel of fine groups whose Greenberg Kegel graphs are disconnected. And this was basic point uh, for research of Greenberg and Kegel. And then uh, there was a the theorem they described these uh, groups uh, possible. Uh, these results can be uh, described, uh, can be applied. For example, if you know that some groups uh, are uniquely determined by the Greenberg Kegel graphs, possible we can make some applications, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. It sounds as if there may be some interest in exploring that connection. Thank you. Well, but Gary, when are you asking about the applications? Which kind of applications do you expect? Well, I'm I'm wondering whether all of this information that has been discovered in the last few years has any applications to the structure to of the application ideal or maybe other properties of the of the group ring. That was the original motivation. And I'm just wondering whether these results about very specific finite groups can be applied to tell you properties of their group rings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, yes, uh, we, we can discuss this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting, yeah, right, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.